What's going on YouTube? Drew here with MSPP and today we're going to be doing a quick install and a quick review of Timney Trigger's Alpha Series upgrade kit for the Block Gen 3-4. A um, couple of comments on my install video of the trigger system in my Glock. After pulling the trigger, if you hold that trigger to the rear, as you saw in my install video, the slide will not go fully into battery until you release that trigger. Um, I was able to use the red trigger spring, which is technically their use with aftermarket internals in your slides uh, and your guns. Uh, but for some people, they're using fully stock OEM parts in their Glock with just the trigger system, and they're still running into that issue. It does seem like Timney knows about the issue. Obviously, they release an upgrade kit. Uh, my guess is the connector and part of the firing pin are what is probably what's causing the issue. Um, I don't know if they, Timney has made a statement about it, knowing that there are issues. Now for the month of June, if you already owned a Timney, you should have gotten an email. Uh, the sale is over, but they did offer this upgrade kit as a one-time deal for $80. I went ahead and bought it just to test it out and give you guys an idea uh, and give my opinion on it. After June 30th, the trigger system the upgrade kit will become part of the package deal. Uh, will come with the Timney Trigger Alpha Series. Hopefully, they don't increase the price. Uh, it was already $150 for the trigger, and then this is another $80, so a $230 trigger system. If it still causes issues, in my book, it's not worth it. Um, I wouldn't recommend it if it's going to cause malfunctions. Uh, a lot of forums, people are having the same issues. They can't seem to get their slide to go into battery after holding that pin to the or holding that trigger to the rear. Like I said, my guess is the connector and fire and pin are part of the issue and apparently Timmy knows about it why else would you release a product like this upgrade kit uh, and not address the problem so we're gonna head and get this installed and give my opinion on it see if it changes how the trigger feels unfortunately I don't have a trigger pull weight doodad but we'll go ahead and get that installed all right guys now that we got the trigger system in let's go ahead and give it a pull wow All right, so right off the bat, huge improvement to the trigger pull itself. A lot cleaner, feels like it's even lighter. But again, the actual reset on this trigger system, it's kind of trashy. I don't like it. Some people might like it. Uh, I feel like it could be better, almost as if that return spring on the trigger uh, should be a little heavier or provide a little more feedback or just be cleaned up, could be any of them. That trigger pull is really light and really crisp. Is it worth the $80? No, I don't think it's worth the $80. It's something that Timney should have addressed and given out to its customers who had already bought this for free. Hopefully those of you that do have issues with your slide not going fully back into battery, uh, hopefully this system will improve that. Even with some of those parts still in my pistol, I had to go with the red spring. And it wasn't until I really wore the gun in first couple of you know dozen rounds or so that it really felt like it was finally getting control of what it needed to be. Fortunately for me, I haven't had any issues with mine yet, uh, and hopefully uh, I'll get some longevity out of this with a new connector and firing pin. Again, like I said, hopefully Timmy addresses that there are issues with their systems, uh, which is fine. That's totally okay. As long as they acknowledge it, I'm okay with that. But again, they should have get, uh, given this system to all the Alpha Series owners, because it is a good trigger. Uh, it feels great. Nice, nice flat face rounded trigger. Uh, hopefully I can get out to the range and actually put some rounds down and see if uh, there's any noticeable difference compared to your stock Glock connector and firing pin. Anyways guys, that is all I have for you today. Make sure you check out the range video when that comes out. I'll try to get out there and get that done. Give my review of it out on the pistol range. Sorry about the long hiatus. Things have been a little wonky with our range. Trying to get some range time in. Hopefully we have some more content coming out for you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Make sure you tell a friend, like, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of the Timney trigger systems. If you think there's one better, as always, stay safe and protect your family.